Okay, this is Dorita. I just wanted to share what my celery was looking like. Um, you see that my cucumbers in this pot, I tried to repot them, but don't look like they made it. Um, so, yeah, I put another onion in there. Those other onions rotted, and they were drawing gnats. <laughs> so, I had to get rid of those, but yeah, here are my other cucumbers that I repotted over here. And I thought this was interesting. That looked like two different plants. It's supposed to be a cucumber, but it has that other funny looking leaf on it that looks almost like the celery leaf. I don't know what happened to that one, but we'll see. We'll keep watching it. But this is what they're doing right now. I'm gonna put some more water in here. And this is what I'm using. Oh, oh Lord, I'm in the kitchen, so you might see a mop or two. But uh, yeah, potting mix is what I have down in here, and I'm trying to keep it watered. Um, I put a hole in this one, and the water ran all over the floor, so I just put it in, set it off in another pot because I'm not going to be bothered with that water running out every time I water it. So I didn't put holes in these other pots, and we'll see what they're going to do. But yeah, my celery is still looking cute. But um, yeah, there goes, there's a cucumber underneath there. Um, I guess I should have measured it so I can kind of see, you know, if it's growing and just how much it's growing. And remember, I cut off the bottom of a celery that I had in the refrigerator that we were eating on. And I just put the bottom in some water for a couple of days and then I stuck it down in the dirt and it started doing this. So I'm happy about it. And I'm happy, you know, if we get to eat celery off of this stalk. And so here again is what I have going on here. These are cucumbers that I transplanted out of those little food containers that I had them in. Let me put some more water in here. And then, yeah, I got water and dirt all over the floor right now because we have raccoons outside and I was a little nervous about, you know, uh, putting the plants out there, but it was drawing gnats, those old onions that was rotting in there. So I said, well, they got to get up out of here. So I got rid of the onions and so we'll see what happens. If it continues to draw bugs or gnats or whatever in this house, I will have to get rid of them. But these are my two plants that I have so far. I'm trying to learn to grow some food because, you know, food is ridiculously high. And we do eat cucumbers, we do eat celery. And this is just a start. I've had a couple of grow friends to recommend other starter plants that would be easy to grow for me to be easy to grow inside the house so i'm going to give it a try i'm going to see what these are going to do and so far i have a couple that's living one look like it has mutated into i don't know what that's going to become but yeah so here's my here are my two plants that i have coming along i'm really proud of them that is a little green onion that I just stuck down in there the other day and put some water on it just to see what it was gonna do. So, yeah, here we go. And I just wanted to give you an update on my little plants. I had got in, I was embarrassed about them because they were drying up and doing that thing there. And I said, oh, I can't show these again. But yeah, I'm gonna show them again. I'm gonna show you just what I'm doing and what I'm using. I'm trying to grow us some food over here. I bought this potting mix from Aldi, so it didn't cost me very much, but hey, I did what I could. So we're going to see what happens in these two pots, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I just brought new life. Well, I didn't bring new life, but I planted the seed. God brought new life. <laughs> okay, so that's all for me today. And I will be seeing you around. I will be doing some crochet and sharing that, my craft with you uh, pretty soon. But like I said, this is a learning channel and I'm learning to do new things. 
I'm learning to eat better. I'm learning to grow some food. I'm learning to make some things of my own. I can make um, things with my yarn and uh, parting all the parting all of the dirt and water that's on the floor. That's a mess I just made, but I got the mop. I'm gonna get ready to mop it up. So uh, yeah, so um, I hope you like this little video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll keep coming back and being consistent with bringing you little snippets and videos of what I am doing over here at Butter Roll Boutique. Thank you for coming and have a wonderful, wonderful day.